How to fix authentication failure error when connecting to ProtonVPN via OpenVPN GUI. Here are some tips that would help fix authentication failure error when connecting to ProtonVPN via OpenVPN GUI. If you encounter this error, there are a number of things you can try to remedy the situation. Please try the following steps to fix the problem. 1. Verify that you're using correct OpenVPN credentials. Make sure you are using your OpenVPN credentials, and not your Proton credentials. Proton VPN. employs two sets of credentials, your Proton account credentials, used to log in on Proton VPN homepage protonvpn.com, or to your email if you are a Proton Mail user, and your OpenVPN credentials, which are used to authenticate with the VPN servers if you are using a third-party OpenVPN application. For security reasons, you must use your OpenVPN credentials and not your Proton credentials when logging in via third-party VPN applications. See this article for details on where to find and set your OpenVPN credentials. Two. Confirm that you're accessing servers which are available for you Proton VPN plan. Check that the server you are trying to connect to is available for your subscription. Proton VPN has different plan offerings and each tier has access to a different set of servers. For example Proton VPN free users only get access to free servers in these countries, while Proton VPN Plus users get access to all servers in all countries, including secure core servers. See here for more details on different servers or check out Proton VPN different plans. 3. Make sure that you are using a reputable OpenVPN client. Make sure that you installed the correct client and have updated to the latest section. For example, a staggering number of VPN clients, external link, Cisro research paper, PDF, available in the Android Play Store are not properly implemented and pose a security risk instead of improving your privacy. Despite a few bad implementations, a good number of reliable clients exist. If you have auth problems, please use one of Proton VPN recommend clients from Proton's guides for Mac, Linux, Android, and iOS. 4. Check whether a different server works. Connect to a different server in a different country and see if this issue persists. Sometimes, we need to take certain servers offline for maintenance and as such it can happen that they are temporarily unavailable. In the Proton VPN native applications, this information will automatically be displayed. For third-party clients, check the server page and or our Proton Mail status page at https colon slash slash protonstatus.com to see if there are any reported downtimes. 5. Check number of connected devices slash wait x minutes and retry. Make sure that you do not have more devices connected than your maximum number of allowed connections. Is that the laptop in the other room still connected? How about your workstation? Or that tablet at your parents slash friends slash partners place still connected? Double check your past devices and make sure that none of them are keeping their sessions alive and taking up connection slots. 6. Upgrade to a plan that has more connections. As mentioned, different plans allow different number of simultaneous connections, and while everyone's connected devices increase. If you need more connections, compare our plans and consider upgrading for more connections. 7. Change OpenVPN username and password and retry the connection. If all of them have not yielded good results, try changing your OpenVPN username and password as explained here and see if this enables you to connect again. Warning: This will require you to reset all other existing devices which use the OpenVPN password, native clients will adjust automatically. Example, you have TunnelBlick set up on Mac successfully but encounter issues with iOS connections. If you reset your OpenVPN credentials, both devices need to be reconfigured. 8. Get the latest OpenVPN config files. Periodically, ProtonVPN does update config files, and servers are sometimes removed, reassigned, or added. If none of the steps above are working for you, try going to the ProtonVPN dashboard, account.protonvpn.com, to get the latest OpenVPN config files for your platform. Logging into account.protonvpn.com requires using your Proton username and password, details here. 9. Check if you have paid for the services. When you register and pay for Proton VPN, you will be charged the moment you register. After the time you have paid for goes by, you will have to pay for the invoice that you will receive at the end of subscription. 
you can find your invoices in your Proton VPN dashboard, payments section. HTTP colon slash slash account dot Proton VPN dot com. Still encountering auth failure? If you've tried all of the steps above and are still encountering authentication failure, please contact Proton VPN support team dot com slash support hyphen form and provide Proton VPN with results for each of the above steps. That way Proton VPN can directly pick up where you left off and continue to solve the auth failure and connect your to Proton VPN in a timely manner.